Hey, have you guys been watching Jujutsu Kaisen? Because I've been watching a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen lately. And I gotta say, I love that show. Because, to be honest, that show is pretty fucking great. I mean, it has a lot of similar tropes to a very generic shounen, but at the same time, something feels very different and refreshing about it. Now, so I was watching the show again and again, and the show has a lot of good, great visuals. And uh, even in the opening scene, uh, there's a still uh, where uh, Itadori is sitting in the train, and uh, this is. And actually, wait, I'll just show you guys what the uh, still I'm talking about is. It's this still right here. So as you can clearly see that uh, it looks really good. The show has a lot of great visuals, but I'm gonna recreate this very still right here. First of all, let's take some stills of myself and then we'll jump into Photoshop to see how it, how it all uh, ties in together. Let's, uh, let's start. Also, 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 also wait, 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 I forgot. Um, there are multiple ways to go about this. Actually, there's an easy way and there's a difficult way. And for the purpose of torturing myself, uh, we're gonna do the difficult way. Because the easy way requires a projector that I don't, uh, that I just simply don't have. So, yeah. Um, let's get started, let's take some images. All right, so let's start by taking the image. Now, as you can see that I have one key light pointing at me at a 45 degree angle. And uh, what I'll be using is this white board. So what this basically does, it softens the shadows uh, that, as you can see, are being formed on the opposite side of my face. Now, I don't want it to be this dramatic, so I'm just gonna use this. And as you can clearly see, it makes a huge difference. It just needs to be white, and uh, it basically reflects the light back. Let's open Photoshop and uh, I'll be using the camera raw to change the white balance a little bit. It gives a huge control and uh, always shoot raw. Always. I'm gonna make a few edits real quick. Uh, by the way, this is all real time. I definitely did not speed it up. This is this is what pure Photoshop scale looks like. All right. Next, we're gonna crop and uh, make a nice clean plate. Uh, I'm gonna make clean up the background basically remove the spots the lights and then I'm gonna expand the background I started with the gradient but then I re realized that uh, it's just too much trouble and content aware scale does the job next I found this Sukuna's mask overlay mask lines whatever overlay and uh, I'll be using uh, the warp tool to fit it on my face I'll also be uh, dividing into multiple sections so that I have more control over how it fits on my face. Because uh, unlike an anime character, my face is not perfect. But that's fine. Next, color adjustments. Um, making some changes to Sukuna's mask, making the overall uh, image more darker. Adding some glow, adding the gradient map to make some highlights that are being created uh, from the glow of the lines. Um, and uh, lastly, I'm gonna add some uh, of these like light leaks, anamorphic effect, because I think it looks really good. The show has a lot of cinematic aspect to it and I really wanted to bring it in my image. Adding some noise to it and uh, yeah, this is how the final image looks. Uh, this is what the before looks, before the editing, and uh, this is after the final image. This hour. Yeah, hope you guys like the final image. I personally liked it very much. I usually don't do anime-inspired uh, artworks or photographs, so this was completely new to me. And uh, I really enjoyed myself recreating this uh, artwork, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you guys did, leave a like. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys, hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, I'm planning to make more videos uh, on this channel, so it's <laughs> I'm I'm no more going to say that. Um, maybe I'll create more videos because I'm definitely going to create more videos and more content and more sh uh, random shit that I usually do on this channel. So, so thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.